Hi, and welcome to this Transformizer Pro video. In this video, we'll show you the basic principle of how to work with Transformizer Pro for Mac in Pro Tools and how to get great results in no time. I've started Pro Tools, created an instrument track, inserted Transformizer Pro, and opened it. So right now it's at default. Now, just drag the sound from the audio file folder in the Pro Tools project onto the master section like this. In this example, I'll choose the sound of a sports car as the master. I set the play selection on the master sound with the two play selectors, start and end. Let's have a listen. Now I want to spice up that sound. And today, I'm choosing the sound of a pipe organ. So I go to the audio files folder on my Pro Tools project. I choose the sound I want and drag it onto the child section A. The range will automatically adjust itself to that in the master section. I'll bypass the controls by clicking anywhere in the name area of the child section. And also I will mute the volume of the master. This is the unprocessed sound. the good old pipe organ. I unmute the master and enable the controls in the child section again by clicking in the name area. In this example, I will adjust the pitch tracking and the amplitude tracking to make the sound of the pipe organ follow the master sound of the sports car. I'm turning down all smoothing parameters of the tracking. I'm setting the pitch tracking to about 80% and the amplitude tracking to 100% to hear a dramatic change and then I can always adjust the amount from there. Let's hear what it sounds like when the pipe organ tracks the master sound. I mute the output of the master to just hear the pipe organ. And I'll pitch it down a little bit. Now let's hear the pipe organ together with the sports car. And just the master. And all together. In other words, a dramatic change. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. Visit us at transformizer.com for more info.